Legion in DBD is fast as hell. Whenever a Legion goes into their frenzy, they can speed around the map, slapping survivors left, right, and center. And if they're lucky, they can slap four in a row and get a down on their next hit. But as soon as the frenzy ends, Legion becomes the most basic and the most boring M1 only loser. You can get all the injures in the world, but if those survivors split up, then you ain't getting a five hit frenzy down. You're going to have to use your crazy weak baby knife to swing at those survivors without an ounce of help. What if I told you that we can actually buff Legion's chase to make it more in line with his frenzy? That's right, we're doing speed Legion today. Legion has this add-on, right, called BFFS. This add-on rewards you stacks for every chain frenzy hit you get. And if you can get 15 stacks before the exit gates are powered, then that add-on gives you an additional 4% movement speed for the entirety of endgame. Unlike other killer add-ons that increase movement speed like Ghostface's drop leg knife sheath and Trapper's coffee grounds, Legion's add-on stays up permanently once it hits endgame, whereas those other add-ons require the killer to mark a survivor or place a bear trap to receive a short boost of speed for a limited duration. So this Legion add-on makes them the fastest basic M1 killer for the rest of the trial. I would not want to be a survivor in these games. Let me explain the build. Play with your food is our first perk, and this one is our main speed hacking perk. Whenever we lose chase with the obsession, we gain one token up to a total of three. Each token increases our movement speed by 5%. As soon as we use an attack, we lose one token. This will be where the majority of our speed comes from because that is a whopping 15% total. Next up is Hex Noed, and we aren't your regular old frosty eyed killer who's using this as a crutch to win some games, although uh, we will also probably do that. We're actually using it for the 4% haste that we gain in endgame. No Way Out is next. This is an important one to make sure the survivors don't just escape too quickly and laugh at my ridiculous endgame speed build that they just so easily avoided. No Way Out gains a token every time we hook a survivor for the first time. It maxes out at 4 tokens and as soon as the survivor goes to work on an exit gate, both exit gates are blocked for one whole minute. Lastly, we're running Remember Me. This is another endgame slowdown perk that we are desperate for considering we are speed legion only in endgame and want to get the most out of this speed before the survivors escape. Every time the obsession loses their health state, we gain one token up to a maximum of four tokens. Each token adds an additional four seconds to the opening time of exit gates. So once those exit gates are powered, and we are insanely fast, they will have over a minute and a half stuck in the trial with the speediest legion in existence. Our first add-on is the BFFS. This is the add-on that brings the build together and makes it so that legion can have the fastest base killer speed out of everyone. For every chain frenzy hit we get, we gain a token. The more chains in that frenzy, the higher the tokens rewarded. If we get to 15 tokens before the exit gates are powered, we get an additional 4% movement speed in endgame. Our final add-on is the mural sketch. This add-on increases the speed bonus per hit during feral frenzy to 0.3 meters a second, meaning that every hit we get in frenzy will allow us to move slowly slightly faster than before. This will help us out a ton to get those tokens needed for the BFFS add-on. Drop a like and subscribe if you made it this far. I love doing videos like these ones and it really means a lot, so let me know what else you'd like to see me do in the comments below. Now, let's get into the games where I can finally show these survivors who the leg is now. Alright, we got Bad Ham Preschool 5. This is going to be an absolutely horrendous map to play on. Uh, we are going to get very, very lucky if we get any stacks of this add-on, but we'll, we'll try to give it our best. We'll use our power here. We should get a nice early hit. Big shoes in the locker. We don't really care about that. We just want to get our stacks. She run, runs early, but we get that hit. We can run up here. Hopefully, there's a window somewhere. They stay upside, upstairs. We might not really catch them. We'll vault the window because it pauses our timer. Drop that. Oh, we barely hit that. Huge. All right, nice. Oh, and she vaults into me. Oh my god, no way. So we get five stacks of the add-on, and we get it down relatively quickly, and Ada did nothing but heal that entire time. So this is honestly a decent start, but uh, as I said before, Badham is a nightmare of a map. So uh, we just gotta, we gotta hope for the best. We just wanna check on the gens right now. Somebody's over this one, it's the Claude. I will wait to get a little bit closer, and I'll use my power. Our obsession is Bill. Uh, we get a, should get a hit here nice and easily. Let's drop pallet, but we want to run over this way. Because this person seems to be going for the save. It's the Ada. Oh, bro. She confused me. Oh, and I swung way too late. Uh, unfortunate. That would have been another two stacks. Uh, we know Bill's over this way somewhere, I think. Okay, Bill's down here. That's pretty good for us. Because hopefully we can get some stacks. Play with the food, which will help us out. He, I don't know where he went. Okay, they've all healed up, meaning that they're pulling to the hook. I see the eight. I see all three of them. Hopefully, they stay together for a minute. We're going through main building. Oh my god, she gave me the free hit means I can get uh, catch up to these guys really quickly. So I should get another five stacks on my add-on right here, as long as I don't butcher it. Nice. This is the eight up. 
Uh, and I know where the last person is, so hopefully we can get to them in time. Because this is a pretty big map. Now he's running straight over this direction. Nah, was it going to happen? Oh, unfortunate. But we did get another five sacks, so we only need uh, one more uh, frenzy like that one. Uh, I'll get my stack right here. I'll play the food. Um, maybe we can farm some more off this bill and then down him with them so we get our remedy value. You can run back over this way. Um, but yeah, we need we need one more three-man hit to get a uh, the last stacks of our add-on. This is the Claude. He's going to drop chase right now. Please drop chase. Nice. He went inside. Wait, he's right there. Damn, Bill, you sneaky as. Uh, I can actually use my frenzy here. So I will injure the bill. Hopefully he does heal up. We'll vault. Because then we pause our timer for a second, I think. Um, There's everybody here. If we can get a hit. Oh my god. Barely. Dude, that was right in my, in my power. Okay, we vault this. This will be a four-man hit right here. Which means that we'll, we've already got our power. We've already got the add-on that we need. And we can down whoever the hell we want. Oh my god, huge dude. That's so good. This is a really good game so far, and these guys seem pretty goddamn decent. They just keep grouping up. Alright, that's our second No Way Out stack. Bill will be on that gen up there, likely. Somebody's here. Oh my god, it's Bill. Uh, I don't know why they were grouped up like that. We're just gonna hook immediately, because we'll get our uh, Play the Food stacks as well. So we'll be nice and speedy, going for whoever we want to next. Oh my lord. Alright, three stacks. We want to get the bill next, and we also need to hit him for our stacks. Maybe if we want, we can either... Hello, Ada. I don't really want to hit you. I don't lose my play with your food stacks. Alright, nice. We lost the play with the food stack there, which is a shame, but that's okay. Uh, we pick up, and she'll be second stage, I'm pretty sure. But uh, we really need to be injuring and downing this bill. But so far, for hooks, and the fact that we have our add-on, and we nearly have no way out all the way up, at four gens, we're in a really good position. We want to beat that. We can go for a swing. I mean, nah, we couldn't get out of that pal in time. It's okay though. She has to mend. Um, we can go back to the Claude mate. Now we can commit to the Ada. She'll be second stage. Right now, I don't mind uh, taking these chases just because I have a lot of pressure. Oh my god, bro! I don't respect pallets. God damn. Hook right here. Is this built to my right? I think it is huge. Me and Chase. Nice. They saved. I have played with your food stack. Nice. She lagging out. God damn. Oh, she's running to the corner. That's really smart. We'll just use it to find the bell. Um, because we don't really need more add on stacks. Uh. Oh my god, bro, you just got the crap out of me. Alright, that's another remember me stack. Right now, if we down the bill, we'll have three remember me stacks and we'll get our fourth. Ida, what are you doing? I'm just gonna use that there to catch up to the bill. Um, and maybe like body block him or something, bro, I don't even know. Oh my god, my red glyph, please. We do catch up to him there, so that's uh, pretty helpful. And he's just gonna keep running this loop, isn't he? God damn. Bro, why is Ada behind him? Ada, haven't you been hooked like twice already? Do you have like a dead heart or a stip deck? What is going on? Why though? Is that a metal of man hit? Bro, I'll tunnel you. You think I won't? Oh my god, how does she- I can't remember me stack here. Oh, uh, sorry, I play with a food stack. So which will help me out a ton. And uh, I don't really don't mind killing her right now. Pretend she goes around. Blood loss as well, bro. We'll be fast as fuck. And we get that down, dude. Like, middle of man, sure, but, uh... Or maybe it was off the record. Either way, it's just a free down. Maybe we should have DS. Maybe that's her play. Nope. She's second stage, I think. Oh, she's dead, bro. Why'd she die like that? That was a little weird. And Bill's still here after all of that. Come on, Ida. That's not that play. This is a really weak loop if I play it right. Oh my god. Big fake. Um, he's gonna drop it this time. He does not. Okay, cool. And this will be our fourth of, uh, No Way Out. And they have one dead left, so I don't really mind, like this. This right here. 
as long as we just kind of get our false memory stack by the end game, and hopefully we get a good Noad spawn, and hopefully we get good, good door spawns, then uh, we'll be able to actually maximize uh, this build. They're saving right now, actually. Alright, we'll take that. He can go mend, and we can use that play with your food stack to catch up to this Claudat. Who's gonna vault in immediately? Who's scratch marks at these? Oh, it's the Bills. I'm just gonna be a swing to get put in chase, and I gotta remember me stack. And right now, we kinda wanna let them finish the last generator. We wanna get our build value. Um, and considering we have 26 stacks for the add on, meaning we get 4% in endgame. We'll hopefully farm three play with the food stacks. Oh, the door's right there. Honestly, those are pretty good doors. Especially considering this part of the map is pretty dead unless they run through main. But I can break this door and give the uh, myself kind of the ability to cut them off. I got my glyph. Let's do some uh, some errands real quick. Get my glyph. Break this pallet. And break the door as well. Uh, we just want to farm up our three play with your food stacks. And then with Noed, hopefully it spawns across the map to our uh, doors or it spawns on our doors. Where's Bill? You guys aren't Bill. Bill ran early. I see. All right, we got our second stack. We got our third stack, and then we can kind of just chill near the doors, honestly. We just want to find our third play with the food stack, because uh, having uh, the add-on in endgame will basically be like another play with the food stack, meaning that we'll have four. Oh my god! So now we have Noed, and it's in that building, which honestly isn't a great spawn, but I think we can defend it. So they'll likely go to this door, and we need to uh, defend it a little bit. Yeah, no way out right there. So we got to get Noed on whoever's here. Oh my god, dude, we're so speedy. Look at us go, and this is the bill. Uh, we can actually find our last stack real quick. On the way out top, and they will be probably looking for Noed, so I want to kind of push him toward it. Um, okay, that's right. We just want to use the speed to get it, checking it. Oh my god, bro, we're actually literally hacking. They're not here. As long as we can stop Bill from doing the door as well, then we'll be in a really, really good position. Because he's the only one that does it fast. The rest of them have to do it so much slower. Hopefully I can find Bill again and get a hit on him. But right now, they play... Oh, okay, that's Claudette's. I think I have time and enough speed to catch up to her relatively quickly. Um. Oh, dude, I actually don't know. I'm going to have to down her here and slug her. Just because I have to go back to the doors before Bill does them. Oh my god, bro, we're so fast. Holy shit. All right, we're gonna go straight to that door because that's the one Bill knows. About. Uh, we'll actually detour on this door and detour past our totem, which they're not on. Oh, speed, speed, speed! Not on that door. Check on this. Oh my god, Bill's right here! Holy shit, Bill! Okay, that's our false memory stack. So if whoever's doing the doors, we struggling. We can hook him. He's second stage, uh, and we still have basically two play with the food stacks. Where do you go, bro? He's crawling. Holy shit, you're fast. Yeah, so we should basically still have two play with the food stacks and wait, 4% from Noed as well. Which is basically like two and a half play with the food stacks. They're on this door here. They gotta open. Interesting. I'm gonna go let them save, maybe. Oh dude, I need to get the I need to get that 3k. I think she's just gonna let me force her out. Damn bro, you really sat there through that entire door, huh? Well played. GG's dude, well played. Let's go check on that Claudette real quick. Um, but my god, dude, we're so fast. That's crazy. Just when we went to check on the totem and walked between the doors, where we were so fast, it was actually insane. Uh, we down her around Shack. Oh my god, there she is. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. But I eventually found her. Dude, was so fast. GG's. Well played, guys. And that was such a rough map for us. I was not expecting that to be good at all. Oh my god. GG's.